Another interesting feature to export your 3D model is export for WebGL. The WebGL is a file that you can upload it in your website. You can export it and give you to website designer and exactly like a, a sketch fab website you can <clears throat> uh, rotate your model exactly like this as you can see this is a baked object and as like before like to the pdf you can change the texture you can play an animation as you can see change the model uh, and this is a baked texture you can do it it's very interesting it's very simple and you can here i uh, and you can explore the webgl uh, you can refer to the exporting pdf this isn't exactly the model that we exported in the pdf we have a <clears throat> material a scene state we have a sequence for animation and exactly like pdf we can export it going to the file and export p uh, webgl Instead of export directly, go first sitting and as like before, I explained before, you have to first select your template. I uh, prepare in previous lesson my temp. You can refer to that. It's exactly like to the PDF. You can add your model here. And if you want, you can add a JavaScript to that you want. I untick that. I don't want to open immediately and here in the 3d you can uh, specify your sitting in environment the sitting of the environment is very important enable hdri of course and sun is very important to affect that lighting if you don't bake your object of course you can bake your object <clears throat> as you see here this is a baked object as you can see you can zoom it this is a baked object. Interesting. So first bake object, you know that it's very easy. Come here and baking object. I explained them before in the previous lesson. You can refer to them. So if you don't want to bake your object, you can export it directly here. Export setting. Okay, choose the template. You can export a sequence. You can exp export a scene state like PDF. Exactly like that. my temp and 3d you can keep the camera up above the ground it means if you go in here you cannot go the at the ground it's locked you can do it if you want uh, add the reflection if you want to add a reflection navigation mode spin is better or rotate you can rotate in any direction it's confusing sometimes important things the frame per second set it exactly frame per second that you export your sequence from your for example simulation okay and i want to play once because i added uh, i add in my template a button to play animation play animation at the start i don't want it don't want to open a file after selection and you can add a, ma a message box with css file and that's very easy you can simply <clears throat> export it and you have to uh, choose a name for your uh, file and you can see you can export html5 file and export it of course you can optimize it if you have lots of texture uh, and here run webgl starter this is a separate software in a simlab soft you can go in here in a product uh, cat i think it is in a simlab composer you can see it it's automatically open and you can drag and drop your html file on it okay i checked all of the armor scene states <coughs> and export it go to the dat file and as you can see, this is my HTML file that can uh, I, uh, I can open it. As you can see, if you double click, you can you can uh, sometimes it does not work, and we need the software that uh, to uh, open it locally. So we need this software. Yeah, it's automatically open when you open when you export your software. It's here. 
It's here. It's in the window toolbar. It's here. You can drag and drop your uh, file locally here. Okay, this is our file that uh, this is an HTML file. You can simply click and drag. As you can see, all of the texture and everything is goes here. And this is our file. You can choose another app. Uh, the Firefox and Chrome is more powerful than. And you can open it. Uh, unfortunately, it does not open directly. You have to use uh, this uh, this uh, tool to make it locally. Click and drag it and waiting for unpack. And now you can see your model. As you can see, it's very bad texture because I don't bake it. But uh, it's uh, you can add your uh, exactly your animation. And oh, I've missed that file. Sorry for that. I think I forget to choose my template. Export WebGL, as you can see, yeah. So your template is very important because I prepared, uh, as you can saw before, uh, open file after exporting, yeah. Export, any name that you want, okay. Okay. And this is our WebGL. And as you can see, our button are here. And uh, you can simply play the animation like uh, before in a PDF. You can change the uh, cine states int interesting directly your website. And you can see it locally here. Interesting. Okay. You can give this file to your the web. You can give these files to your web designer and it can at attach you. It's an HTML file. It's very easy to your piece to your website hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release